everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch Online. Now, of course, if you don't know, Nintendo Switch Online has been expanding every single year with more features. Obviously, in 2018 it launched with the NES games, in 2019 we got the SNES games, and in 2020 we've not really had anything yet. And I wanted to make a video talking about the future of Switch Online. Will we see Game Boy games or will we see N64 games coming to the service? Now, this is something I wanted to talk about for a while because, you know, I feel like we are going to see some kind of additions to the online service coming very, very soon. Now, what kind of, you know, urged me to make this video and what's kind of made me want to make this video now is uh, that we recently had a new Switch update which, you know, added the Switch Online app which made the service um, a little bit more sort of tied into the Switch and gave it more features, meaning that Nintendo is still looking at ways to support the online service a little bit more. Which therefore got me thinking, could we see Game Boy games or even N64 games come to the service? And, you know, I feel like that could very, very easily happen. Of course, we have seen um, them bring out more SNES and NES games, and they've kind of slowed down now. There's not a load of titles they could add. I mean, they could still add Earthbound and Donkey Kong, um, a couple more uh, titles could be added to SNES, but I feel like pretty much everything's been added on those consoles apart from a few games. And I feel like it's time for Nintendo to sort of evolve the service a little bit more. We might have already had this announcement, or we might have already had Nintendo reveal the N64 games, or maybe even Game Boy games, by now if it wasn't for maybe some delays we've had this year, with 2020 being the way 2020's been. Maybe we could have already seen this by now, uh, but I feel like maybe that's just been delayed and maybe we could even see it early next year. But it is interesting to see that Nintendo are supporting the online service a little bit more. You know, they are adding that, you know, that whole app onto the Switch. That seems pretty big, and I feel like maybe we could see maybe a Switch Online Pro being brought to the Switch. Maybe like a Switch Online Pro option where you get more games, or maybe even Wii or GameCube stuff bundled in as well, maybe for a higher price. Maybe more features at a higher price, maybe like a basic version, which is what you get now. Or like a pro version. That being said, Nintendo are still adding more features to the online service. I mean, even just a couple of days ago on that Switch update, they added a service where the save data automatically backs up depending on what console you're on. You know, little things, they are adding more and more things to the service, and each game is getting more special offers. Like Animal Crossing, that's got some special offers this year. Splatoon's had some special offers, so has um, Smash Bros as well. Of course, we've seen Mario 35 for Switch Online members as well, so we are seeing some kind of support, but... That does ask the question, you know, will we see N64 games or Game Boy games? And I think personally we'll see the Game Boy games first and then maybe N64. I feel like Wii and GameCube might be too far, um, too much of a stretch. That might be something to do on a pro, but it is very, very strange, you know, to think about GameCube and Wii games. I feel like that is out of the question at the minute. Let's just see if we get N64 games and Game, uh, Game Boy games and then we'll go from there. The other thing you've got to think about is I don't think that Nintendo would want to sell us back Wii games on the Switch online service, even though we've just had Mario 3D All-Stars, it's kind of seem um, of a weird point to make, I don't know why you make a big point of Mario 3D All-Stars, and then just give away the game um, with online, it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, another thing that's been interesting is uh, both Switch online apps have been updated to version 5, I believe, and that you know user interface, that thing on the UI, um, has been added as well. And this is causing many people to think about the Game, Corp, game Boy uh, and uh, N64 games, and you know just more games coming to the Switch Online service. Of course, we have had sort of a quiet year in terms of the online service, um, but if I had to predict something, I would say that maybe early, you know, early next year in the first quarter, I think we'd either hear about N64 games or maybe even Game Boy. I think Game Boy is more likely because we haven't seen that in Mario 3D All Stars. I feel like we'll probably see Game Boy going into next year, maybe even late into next year. But I feel like you know we we are seeing the early signs of Nintendo trying to support this service a little bit more. And maybe we'll be getting some games soon. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, are Nintendo just adding the app onto the Switch, that little thing on, that little circle on the uh, menu? Does that mean anything? Do you think we're going to get um, these N64 games and GameCube games? Or do you think they're just trying to help us out and just giving us an update? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And do you want this adding, added to the Switch? You know, do you want these games being added? Do you want these systems being added? What games would you want to see? When do you think this is going to happen? Do you think they're going to charge more for it? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you in another news update. Alright, cheers for watching everyone.